They thought I was Bob Marley's son or somebody. I don't know. doing a birria tour in San Diego. You ready, Milan? I'm excited. I've been waiting for this day for two weeks. We're at the first place. This is Birria El Rey. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting some interesting uh We got to get him a birria spectators. too. Sister Carol, she played with Bob Marley. That's my mother. That's, That's my mom? blood mother. Man, they kidnapped me one time and it was crazy. They thought I was Bob Marley's son or somebody. I don't know. But, and I speak uh, seven different languages. One of them was English first because we learned it from the red. The yeah, red. you want a birria taco? We're going to get a case of birria taco if you want. The, 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 the red strike if you can. The red strike if you can. We're going to get back on our birria mission here. Nice to meet you, man. Jamaica, you're coming back? Jamaica, of course. We'll get you a case of birria taco. We'll get you a birria taco, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I love this neighborhood. Hey, bro. This is great. <laughs> we're getting you a taco, homie. We got you. Okay, we're making our way finally over to Birria El Rey. I'm in love with Birria. I've been dating Birria for about a year now. <laughs> This is one of my favorite little birria secrets. They take the tortillas and they dip them in the fat that's rendered from the beef braising process. And then they toast it on the grill and it gives it this nice deep beef flavor and it gets nice and crispy as well. This little trick that Birria El Rey does is brilliant. They grill the taco face down to toast the cheese to make it nice and crispy and it adds a ton of flavor. After that cheese is perfectly toasted, now it's time for the beef. And as you can see, they keep the beef in a container of its stew to keep it nice and warm and juicy. And when they introduce it here into the taco, you can see that this is the perfect balance of crispiness and juiciness of the meat. When they add the final toppings, some onions and cilantro, that final taco is just perfect. Look at that. Here they're making the quesadilla, which is the quesadilla with birria in it. And what I love about this is they add a little bit of that fat stock to make sure that it stays nice and juicy, but it also helps crisp it a bit on the outside while it's on the grill. The birria burrito looks amazing. Plenty of cheese at the base, a good helping of birria beef. They add some beans, some cilantro, and some onions, and that looks like an amazing burrito. But it's not done yet because they do the same trick that they do with the quesadilla and the taco. They sprinkle on a little bit of that fat stock on top and then toast it on the grill and it gives it that nice Maillard reaction crispiness that's to die for. Yes, it's here, yeah. Look at that juiciness. This is the best part, time to taste. Look at this finished product, it's perfect. The cheese is nice and crispy, the beef is super juicy, you can see it all glistening in the sun, it's perfectly balanced with all the toppings. Let's dig in. How is that, all that crunch is nice. Mmm, super crunchy outside, and the inside is like soft, juicy, gooey. It's it's everything I expected it to be. Oh my god, the aroma is incredible. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> but what I like the most is that crisp, right? It's like this deep bone broth flavor. Like, you can tell they stew this stuff for hours. Next up to try is the Birria Ramen. Now honestly, I thought this dish was all hype. But when you combine a really nice beef broth, a really tasty beef birria, and ramen noodles, you really can't go wrong. I wish you guys were here with us, but I'll, I'll enjoy this for you. Do some uh, dry cheese. What I do first, I soak them in hot water. I use guajillo, guajillo, California. Okay. And okay. Uh, guajillo, chile nice. ancho. And blend it all together and add it to the meat. Uh, I use the chank. And the chuck. The chuck comes with some bone on the inside. Okay. I also add a uh, bone marrow. Just let it like marinate it for two hours. Yeah. Like start cooking it like for probably from easily from four to six hours. Next 
stop is Ed Fernandez Restaurant, a spot way south in San Diego, right near the border with Mexico. This place was started by two brothers from Tijuana, originally as a food truck and eventually grew into a restaurant and is well known as one of the best places in San Diego for birria. So Carlos set this up and gave us some uh, atole. I've never had this before. Have you I haven't had either, no. Atole, which looks like a hot chocolate. Mm. Oh, damn. Bro, that is good. It's like a hot chocolate, like a little cinnamon. Yes, it's like cafe de olla kind of, but hot chocolate style. Oh man, style. that is dope. <laughs> Francesco coming back with our little bag of happiness. I got the goodies. Two birria tacos and consomme right here. That's what I love about uh, Mexican takeout is like they really hook it up. <laughs> Enough napkins for the rest of my day. Some fresh cilantro, uh, chopped onions, plenty of lime. Just different. I don't know. I can't tell. Full looking salsa. Look at that. Here is this place does one tortilla, but it's nice and thick, and the meat isn't isn't as juicy. It doesn't have as much of a deep color, but it looks a little bit more like clean. Just like a look it straight up. Mm. Oh my god! Every time, man. Oh, fucking love birria. The OG way to do this stuff. I like your table. Yeah, oh, it's nice, right? Yeah. Hey, the food is really, really good here. No, it is actually better in the consomme. Legitimately. I think they don't put as much sauce on it, like right off the bat. For this reason, so you can actually dip it in. It's yeah. much better in here. <laughs> okay. Pick it up a notch. Oh wow, very cinnamon forward. That is a full body broth. Yeah, you could drink, you could eat this alone. This alone would be a soup. This is the jam here. The consomme is, is what I think probably makes this place. And it's perfectly balanced though, because you taste, you really, <laughs> you really taste those dried chilies, the Wahio chilies or whatever they are, perfectly salted. It's, you taste the cinnamon there. And it's not too like thick. It's not too watery either. Honestly, it's perfect. This is the ideal consomme. If I had to describe it in one sentence, probably every cell in my body is dancing right now. Still super hungry. We haven't even gotten started here. We just made it to Birreria y Menuderia. Menuderia. Uh, it's not a pretty popular spot. It's down here in National City on D Street. And uh, we're gonna go inside, check it out. Third spot. Uh, Alrighty. For Birria? It's always good for Birria. Yeah. I want to have some menudo. Okay. Yeah. Just because you're hungover? You think I'm, it's I'm, a, I'm a little hungover this morning. I had a little bit too much fun last night, but yeah, the menudo is bomb. But you know what? You cannot go wrong with a birria. Definitely. Uh, we came for the birria, so I think we're going to we're gonna stick to the script and do the birria. Menudo right, next the time. Birria, water it down with your michelada. Ah. Your michi. Michi, michi yeah? Michi. Yeah, man, for sure you get three. What do I want? You want a michelada? Sure, let's do it. All right. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I really appreciate no that. Worries, no worries, man. No worries. really appreciate that. What's no your name? Enjoy. Juan, man. Juan. 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 I needed this. Mm. Here we go. Give it a little mix. Mm. After a day in the sun, this is perfect. Ready, 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 oh. ready. Oh. It already smells incredible. This is very different than the two places. And granted, this is the goat, so I'm not surprised that it smells incredible. This it just has this like umami scent there. Baby! <laughs>
our thing, flavor. Man. Love me some goat. You can see like the little the crispiness of the goat. See what we think? That is really unique. Very different flavor. It's, it's like, you know, goat is a little bit hardier, more serious of a meat, right? Like, it's harder to cook. That's why I don't think it's as, as popular. It's almost a little bit gamier, but it's not. It's not gamey. It's just um, kind of a bolder flavor. Beef compared to goat is almost like bourbon compared to scotch. You know, it's like this, there's like this depth and this smokiness. We need to try the con consomme by itself. Same thing here. Like this is clearly not beef, but it's, it's, I mean, I love beef. It's probably my favorite meat, but like this in a good way is not beef. It's different, it's unique. My God, that is so unique. It's like you, you taste a little bit of those spices, right? You taste the cinnamon, you taste the oregano and the, and the chilies that go in here, but it's just so rich. Like this is more rich than the other ones. Welcome. You guys ready for some goat beer or what? What's up, So, these guys sitting not hungry, but they have to try this food. I love that. And this food dog? for all. Her acquaintance. Really to go one place. Some goat, baby. What I love about Oh. Okay. Oh, anything. Yeah, you can. You try to take a bite, bro. Let's see if you're taking a bite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, straight for the oh, goat. There we go. <laughs> so I would say I would say that the first place that we went to, Birria El Rey, had the best case of birria taco. The way they, that the quality of everything was really good, the birria was really good, that cheese was super tasty, high quality. And I liked how they grilled the cheese first before putting it on the top. Right. Papa Fernandez, that place, their consomme was the best. Like that consomme was next level. Berria y Menuberia in Guadalajara, this place, that goat birria is, is incredible. Really unique. The goat consomme is like really different. Like I have never had anything like that before. Well